now coming to classification of proteins okay so like amino acids proteins also have got classification okay so amino acids uh, we have got uh, based on functional group based on uh, metabolic fate based on nutrition and based on solubility okay like this we have classified amino acids and when you are talking about protein classification okay so there are also three types of classification one is based on function like which protein involved in what function okay and based on their chemical nature and solubility that means how they are made up of whether they are soluble or uh, insoluble okay based on that also proteins are classified and final one based on nutritional importance okay and whether a particular protein uh, is uh, we all know proteins are made up of amino acids okay how many essential amino acids are there 10 essential amino acids are there okay if one pro one protein may contain all the 10 essential amino acids some protein may uh, contain not all the essential amino acids so based on this variation proteins again classified that means nutritional important uh, aspect okay and first to talk about uh, functional classification structural proteins okay so with the function we are given the name okay structural proteins by the structure you can make out that means these are the proteins involved in giving the structure okay keratin of hair okay keratin is a type of protein which is present in hair and nails collagen of bone okay so these are all like give involved in structural aspects and second enzymes are catalytic proteins so we all know all enzymes are protein in nature okay but not all enzymes are uh, sorry or uh, not all proteins are enzymes okay so example hexokinase pepsins okay all enzymes are protein so you can say catalytic functions proteins perform catalytic function without these enzymes there is no metabolic reactions okay next third one transport proteins so transport protein in the sense they have to transport something okay so hemoglobin the classical example hemoglobin carries oxygen from lungs to the cells okay and co2 from cells to lungs okay and serum albumin what it will do any lipid substance or insoluble substance useful to us that can be carried in the circulation with the help of albumin okay that can be carried with the help of albumin okay so now fourth one is hormonal proteins so proteins in the sense polypeptides you can say okay or else like hormones you can say like insulin growth hormone which are protein in nature okay though they are polypeptides you can say protein in nature okay they are hormonal proteins next contactile proteins which required for muscular movements okay actin and myosin storage proteins which stores uh, uh, amino acids right ova albumin in egg okay glutalin in the wheat and genetic proteins okay histones example i can say nucleoproteins okay they surrounded by the they are surrounding the nucleic acids dna and rna defense proteins immunoglobulins iga igg igm iga igd so all these are like defense proteins okay receptor proteins the proteins in the cell membrane okay acting as a receptors okay for hormones and for some viruses 